For months, the future of the historic Shaco Hill African burial ground has been unclear. Today, Richmonders came out to the Black History Museum to hear ideas on how to memorialize the land. 8 News reporter Sarah Molina joins us live in the Digital Center now after attending the meeting. Sarah, what kind of ideas were shared? Well, Roland, ideas range from billboards to monuments, and it's all part of the Shaco project, which was unveiled in February as a way to tell the city's story inclusively. Shaco Hill African Burial Ground represents over 22,000, we think, over 22,000 untold histories, stories, relations. Since opening in 1816, the burying ground is one of the largest cemeteries in the country for free and enslaved African Americans. And it's been erased. And the unfortunate story is that now, probably the vast majority of that burial ground is now under Interstate 90. That's why Baskerville architect Burt Pinnock says in order to properly honor the space, community engagement is necessary. And I just want to thank you all again for coming out to do something. And Richmonders delivered. Kitty Carey lived and died a slave. Lenora McQueen has searched for her family's origin for more than 10 years, eventually finding a letter detailing her fourth great grandmother, Kitty Carey's burial site. For nothing guards her humble place of rest. That's because her resting place is covered by an old gas station and a billboard in the neglected Shaco Hill burial grounds. To change that, architects brought eight examples from other memorialized sites around the world. Baskerville proposed memorial statues, a memorial garden, and billboards. I love the billboard remaining because it's just a visual for people who aren't even thinking about staying in Richmond for a moment. In terms of the memorial, I think it would be wonderful to have like a memorial wall that has their names because a cemetery is supposed to be a place that you honor. Time ran out before community members were able to make public comments, but they were invited to write opinions on sticky notes for the next meeting. That next meeting for community members to give input will be held over Zoom on Friday, September 20th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Reporting live in the Digital Center, Sarah Molina, 8 News.